okay guys so today we are going to discuss the windows server 2019 in place upgrade root path and i will show you how we can upgrade uh, from the existing versions to windows server 2019 uh, before going to proceed on this the implementation and the way i can show you how we can upgrade uh, you can just have a look on this uh, the image which i have just taken out from the technet and uh, that shows the microsoft supported versions like the microsoft windows server is basically supporting last two previous versions so you can upgrade it if you'd like to go for the in place upgrade clean installation can be possible for from any version to any version but yes if you are going on an in place upgrade like the existing os is running and you are just going to upgrade it over there in that scenario you have to choose the last two versions only like if you are going to upgrade on 2016 you can see that its supported versions are only 2012 and 2012 r2 same as if you are going on windows 2019 server so you can upgrade it from 2016 server or 2012 r2 apart from that uh, you can also see the image uh, which shows the extended support period and uh, supported mainstream support period so for the 2019 server if you deploy it uh, right now then you will get a mainstream support by 2024 and the extended support period would be 2028 and for 2016 it will be ended by 2027 for windows server 2012 r2 is about to end in 2022 2023 and uh, for 2012 server is also about to end in 2023 so these are the main support and the extended support period for the microsoft windows uh, 2019 2012 r2 2016 servers 2012 r2 support is ended in 2020 so itself only so have a look on this and now we are going to upgrade it from 2016 to 2019 server i will create another video further for go on 2012 r2 to 2019 so just going back to my lab environment and have a look on this so i'm just going to switch it so this is one of my server the name is uh, i have installed windows 2016 on this take a look on the server and then we will proceed on this okay let me quickly show you so we have an uh, domain joint server and that has windows 2016 data center edition so i'm going to upgrade this server with windows 2019 as a in-place upgrade so just need, need to put the uh, windows 2019 DVD or ISO okay I just placed that DVD here perfect no it asked me to run the setup simply run the setup of Windows 2019 it will take couple of minutes to start setup okay it's preparing now once you start the setup then you can see okay so now it will first it will ask to download the upgrade drivers and the optional features you can skip as of now but i am going to do it because mostly servers in the environment are not connected uh, with internet and you cannot uh, proceed without internet so i'm just going to skip that a while means this things will be getting ready you will get an option which edition would like to deploy it here 
so I'm just going to take it as in 2019 data center editions it will ask to accept license agreement okay so now this is the most important part when you are upgrading it to 2019 or any previous version so make sure you select keep personal files and apps then you only you will able to manage your window setting if you keep nothing that means you are deleting everything and you are removing the existing data and the windows okay so it's up to you what option you would like to choose you would like to upgrade in place upgrade with the keep everything files and apps or keep nothing I'm just going to put it this server as a fresh deployment so I am keeping nothing here yes if you still you want to keep the existing apps and your personal files and everything you must take the first option this one keep personal files and the apps so I'm not going to do it here because uh, I have I just wanted to build this server as a fresh one still this will uh, create a windows folder on c drive with the name of windows.old and where i will get my user files and everything rest everything will get erased so just clicking on this and click on next to um, but make sure you should select keep personal files and app if you want to retain the existing infrastructure i am not going to retain it so i am just keeping it as nothing it will ask the confirmation you can just proceed yes so here you need not to build another server nothing else you can keep your existing files and everything remain as it is same your existing folders your data and your drives everything would be remain same at the location so what I'm going to do it here I'm just restalling a Windows 2019 on my existing 2016 server so it will take a couple of minutes uh, around 10 to 15 minutes so in the meantime i will get back on this once it would be ready so it's currently it will analyze all these things like making your pc enough space and then it's it will start copying your files and everything for the deployment it's a simple one just step by step now you can see keep nothing keep the changes desktop experience and just click on install so now the process is started for installation of 2019 and it may take several times to restart and reboot and everything so we will get back once again uh, once it's finished so let's hold for a moment okay guys so you can see that uh, now the server is back and ready because I have taken a clean uh, deployment so that's why it's asking me the details and uh, it's just refresh all the things whatever the stuff was there and the server is ready to go it's asking for the password and everything because I have taken a clean fresh installation if I take and keep existing one so it won't uh, ask these details and it will take the existing infra and the detail as it is it would be up to you how you are going to proceed the deployment strategy during in place upgrade you want to keep the everything or you would like to remove everything and do as in clean up installation still that will copy uh, data in windows.old folder at your root drive where the, your existing window was installed so just let me have a look once it's back it's taking a reboot a while okay we can see that the server is back now let's quickly go ahead and log in at server so it's back now okay have a look on this I haven't keep that the existing files but still what it will do it will create a folder in your 
this root drive and let me just go look. Okay. You can see it in my root drive. It's created an existing one. That is the windows.old. Here you can see the user, the existing older users information and the files and everything is still remain available even I have choose an option to delete everything. So now you can just check the server version also. Let me have a look on this and I can show you. It's taking a little bit time to load because it's a virtual machine and just as in test environment okay so now you can see the server operating system is upgraded to Windows 2019 data center edition from here this is what exactly Windows 2019 data center edition which we had deployed earlier it was Windows 2016 so guys, that's it about the deployment of Windows 2019 from in-place upgrade. Stay with us and keep watching our channel to watch upcoming videos and please do subscribe also. Thank you.